Lights go out around the track. The pace truck getting ready to pull in on the back stretch. 12 lap feature event for the E Mods here at I 35 Speedway. Josh Atkins and Matt Dorsum on row number one. Atkins to the inside, Dorsum to the outside. May Carr in the 4M. Inside row number two, Leroy Morrison in the 50. Next to him is Shawnee Lanning in the 09. Looking for the green flag for this 12-lap feature event for the E-Mods. Here they come through turn number three. Picking up the speed out of four. Here we go. The green flag is out and the race is on. Two by two, side by side as they come down into turn number two. On the outside, Dorsum looking at the outside of Atkins. He takes the lead going into turn number three. Atkins comes back to the inside. Dorsum tries to shut the door. Dorsum will have the lead at the end of lap number one. Lanning moves to the inside of Morrison. Lanning spins in turn number two, keeps her foot in the gas, and keeps going. The green flag stays out. Dorsum continues on with the lead out of turn number four. Atkins in second. Here comes Morrison to challenge. And it does bring out the caution flag as Lanning not able to get out of that rut there and turn number, the inside of turn number two. two and Morrison in the 50, Maycar in the 4M. Lanning at the back of the field. Here we go for the restart. Side by side again. Here's Atkins on the inside. Dorsum gets a little bit of a jump and I believe that's going to be a no-go. So again, on the restarts there, again, it's a single on the front row and then side by side for the rest of the field. Heather Reber up there going by the flag stand with your 50-50 tickets. Get those while they last. You're going to walk home with a handful of cash. Green flag is out. Dorsum with the lead. Side by side, Atkins and Morrison. Two by two, landing it back there as well, trying to make a move on Atkins. Shawnee Lanning side by side with Atkins for that third spot. Morrison in the second position. Dorsum up front, coming out of turn number four. 12 lap feature event, three laps down, nine to go. Dorsum with the lead. Here comes Shawnee Lanning battling back, looking inside of Morrison, trying to take over position number two. Inside of Morrison, side by side for second. Shawnee Lanning. Looking to the inside of Morrison. Morrison shuts the door on Lanning. Back to the inside. Here goes Lanning again. Dorsum, meanwhile, up front. About four car links in the lead, but that battle is really for second place. Morrison trying to hang on with Lanning. It looks like Maycar pulled off the track off of turn number three. So scratch Maycar off of this event. He is done and back into the pit area. And he's not moving off the banking in turn number three, trying to make it to the pit area. So Maycar is going to bring out the caution flag, even though you can't see him. He's just on the other side. Thank you so much for bringing that up. 3D of Matt Dorsum. On the pole, Shawnee Lanning has been very quick. Lee Ray Morrison right there with them as well as Josh Atkins. Green flag is out and we are underway. Five down, seven to go. Here comes Lanning looking the inside. Morrison will take a look on the inside of Lanning side by side for second. Lanning able to motor out of it, gets that second spot. Morrison right there with them and here comes Atkins right there. Again, side by side for second as they come out of turn number four. Matt Dorsum still showing the way with the lead as they complete the next lap. Again, side by side with Morrison and Lanning. Here comes Atkins to challenge on the back of Morrison now, looking for that third spot. Morrison looking for the second spot. He'll come inside of Lanning again. Dorsum still showing the way up front. Landing and then second spot comfortably. Now here comes Atkins to challenge Morrison on the inside. Landing a little bobble there at the top of turn number four. And Morrison and Atkins able to close up just a little bit. 
Again, a good battle between Atkins and Morrison. Morrison trying to hold on. Now he'll move out a couple of car links in front of Atkins. Meanwhile, Dorsum up front continues to lead out of turn four. Dorsum continued to lead into turn number three. Lanning trying to close in. It'll be two laps to go this time by. Morrison trying to hold on to third. Atkins trying to move down and diamond down to the inside of Morrison. Not able to do so as Morrison again closes that door on Atkins. Third nose to tail for that third spot. Looking for the white flag this time by his landing. Trying to close the ground on Dorsum. Able to do so by a couple of car links as that battle for the lead heats up. White flag for Dorsum. Lanning just behind now about a couple of car links as they come into three. Dorsum looking for the win. Lanning closes up ground. Here they come out of four. Dorsum hits the gas. He'll take the win. Lanning will finish in the second spot, followed by Morrison and Atkins. Looking for the green flag as they come through slowly out of turn number three. 12 lap feature event. Here they come out of turn number four. The green flag is out and the race is on. Cordray with the lead into turn number one. Eddie Schwab Jr. with some heavy pressure looking at the inside in that 91 car. Schwab looks to the inside, can't make the move. Cordray's going to lead lap number one. Houston Johnson closing ground now on Schwab in the position number three. Johnson in that day glow color number 97. He closes up on Eddie Schwab Jr. as they come out of four. The battle for second now heats up as Cordray is able to get a car length or two on Schwab and Johnson. True love, a distant fourth. Here comes that battle again for the second spot. Cordray continues to lead. Schwalp and Johnson. Schwalp in the 91. Johnson looking to the outside, trying to make the pass. Can't do it. True love now moving quickly up into the 47 car in that fourth position. So we got a caution flag on the track. Or meanwhile, Cordray continues to lead. That is the 11 of Mike Taylor Jr. has moved up now into the third position and looks under Eddie Shope Jr. to try to take over spot number two. Cordray is checked out by about five car lengths out in front of Schwope. The 11 car again of Taylor Jr. just behind him in that third spot. Houston Johnson right in that group as well as Matthew Lance in the 12X. Johnson goes a little high in that corner. Lance took a look and now side by side and the two get together. Oh, in contact there are not able to slow down as the 12 car of Lance. Several cars were going to go red flag condition as the cars blocked those. Here we go for the green flag restart. Cordray with the lead. Green flag comes out. He diamonds down on the apron again. Gets that green flag and here we go. The 11 of Mike Taylor quickly moving up. Schwo taking a look under Cordray. Not able to make the move. We got debris in the corner apparently. We have debris it looks like down in turn number one. Officials spotting that as the 12X of Matthew Lance all in a row. Let's see what they can do here. The 14K of Michael King. Dennis Fair in that 7F a little further back. Looks like the Munsters car. Very cool. Here we go. Green flag is out and we're underway. And again, it's Cordray showing the way. Johnson has got some momentum this time by as he comes down, looking for the pass on Schwope. The 12 car moves to the inside. That's Matthew Lance and a spin as the 12 spins right in front of the rest of the field. Matthew Lance had some momentum, but spun there right in the middle of, in between turns. Right on the apron. 
And now momentum he's had has been able to keep the rest of the field behind him. Let's see if he can do the same as we try to finish out these six final laps for the Midwest Limited Late Models. Cordray, the single file, here we go. Coming out of turn four. Johnson moves to the inside, Schwilp to the outside. Cordray has the lead as it comes to the start finish line. And it looks like Houston Johnson has taken the exit off of turn number one and off of the banking, bringing out the caution flag on the restart. So Houston Johnson was right up there. Look at that, the high side trying to come out of four and came down and just was a little too high coming in flag. Cordray up front. He's got Eddie Schwope Jr. right behind him with the 11 of Mike Taylor Jr. Michael King right in that grip. The green flag is out and we are back underway. Top three really pulling away from the grip. The 14 of King tries to move up there too. Not able to do so. Side by side and here comes the 11 moving side by side. Taylor there moving the outside of Eddie Schwelp Jr. Cordray still with the lead but side by side for second as they come out of turn four. Schwelp is able to get that position back as they now go into turn number two. Eddie Schwelp Jr. was a heavy challenge there by Mike Taylor Jr. Cordray showing the way. We'll have two laps to go this time by. Here they come out of four. Cordray still leading the way. Side by side again. This time it looked like Taylor got a little out of shape coming out of four. Cordray trying to look to the inside of Eddie Schwope Jr. Schwope doing everything he can to hold on to that second spot. Cordray running the cushion. Now he can diamonds down to the inside. Coming out of the corner. He'll get the white flag. One more lap to go for Cordray. Again, here comes Mike Taylor looking to the inside, trying to make that pass on Eddie Schwab Jr. Not able to do so. Cordray with a pretty lengthy lead. Here he comes out of turn number four. It will be Tommy Cordray who gets the win. Eddie Schwab Jr. is able to hang on to second. Taylor comes in third. 12 of Lance, the 14 of King, the 7 F of Dennis Fair. We'll finish first in the Midwest Outlaw Vintage Racing Series. But out a big hand for Tommy Cordray, who was able to hang on for the win. My side, Bobby Key on the inside, Chris Lewis on the outside, looking for the green flag as they come out of turn number four. Green flag is out and the race is on. Car on the inside trying to move up. That's Mick trying to move up on the inside. He'll move up into position number two. 83, a bunch into that third spot. Bobby Key showing the way. Mick in that second position, trying to move up. Bunch to his outside, side-by-side -side battle for the second position. Key still showing the way. Now Mick boosts to the inside of Key, trying to take over the first spot as they come into turn number two. Mick goes a little high. Key there, still side-by-side -side as they come down the back stretch. John Willard looks like he may have tagged the wall outside of turn number two. Very slow down the back stretch. Key still showing the way. Mick in second. Bunch in the third spot. The 81 moving up as well. And it does look like the half crazy of John Willard has moved out. And we got a crash in turn number two. Several cars getting together in turn number two. Two cars off the banking there at the top of the track at the exit of two. And then two right in the middle of the banking there. Looks like for the green flag restart. 10 lap feature event, two in, eight to go. Here we go, green flag is out and we're back underway. Mick looking at the inside of Key. Side by side, the leaders go into turn number one, into two, still side by side for the lead down the back stretch. Mick to the inside of Key, side by side now as they come out of three. Key trying to pull to a little bit of a lead Mick moving down to the inside, still side by side as they pass the start finish line. Mick to the inside, key to the outside. Key now moves to about a three car length advantage. The 17 trying to move up into that group as well. Andrew Hurley, bunch in the 83. Miller trying to move through that middle of that pack as well in the 55 car. He'll move inside of Hurley. Trying to take over position number four. 
Meanwhile, Key leads up front with Mick in second, the 83 of Bunch in the third position, Hurley in fourth. Here comes the 55 of Miller again, looking to the inside of Hurley. He's able to make the pass this time by. Bunch comes back again on the outside, trying to make the pass going into third, into the third position. The 55 of David Miller really moving up in that 55 car. Now into the third spot behind Mick. Miller sets his sights on position number two, right behind Mick. Key continues to lead, so it's Key. Mick, and then here comes Miller to the inside. Miller looks to the inside of Mick, side by side for second. They've got a slower car up in front of him, a little bit further away. Key still showing the way. He'll get past the slower car to the outside. Side by side, let's see what they do with the slower car in front of them. They'll have two laps to go this time by. Wow, three wide down the front stretch. Side by side, little bumping and banging as they go in the corner. Mick goes a little bit higher. Here comes Miller looking the inside. Mick nearly tags the wall. Side by side for second continues as Key with the lead. He'll look for the white flag this time by. Key with the lead. Side by side, Miller and Mick. One more lap to go. That battle for second. Miller gets the spot. Here comes Mick back to the inside. Still side by side for second. Now Miller pulls away by about half a car length. Here comes Key, your leader, out of turn four. It will be Key, Bobby Key, that gets the win. Here comes Miller. He'll finish second. It'll be Mick and Bunch and Hurley as they come to the line. What a great race that was up front. Bobby Key able to do a couple of restarts, but how about David Miller, the third, moving up from inside row number four and finishing in that second spot. What a great battle between he and Joseph Mick in the 31. How about a big hand for our feature winner, Bobby Key, in the 7K? This evening. Oh, uh, yeah, man, it was a real tricky track. Uh, the top was pretty tre treacherous up there. And uh, at some point uh, when we had about three to go, I thought, I'm either going to go over the top or it's going to work out. So thankfully it did. You really ride that, don't you, right up there? You kind of have to hold your breath a little bit. Yeah, it definitely took me the whole race to figure it out, but uh, luckily I did it on about lap 12 and then just uh, made it happen, I guess. You had some pretty cool moves down there at the inside as well on the apron, too. We saw some of those on the restarts where you're a pretty hungry dog going down there and trying to make passes two and three wide. That was pretty pretty fun to watch. Yeah, man, uh, just got to search around, and uh, these B-Mod races aren't very long, so you better figure it out quick, that's for sure. Well, tell us uh, some of your sponsors and people you'd like to thank tonight for your win here. Uh, 54th Street, um, Millikan's Land and Landscaping, Single Source, Falling Star Ranch. Uh, I also want to thank uh, my mom and dad for everything, uh, just all the fans that came out tonight, and uh, thank God that it didn't rain. So. Yeah, there you go. And predict, uh, give me your, predict, your, your right pronunciation on your name, your first name. Shadron. Shadron, okay. Well, he did say it. All right, Shadron. Well, congratulations on your victory tonight in USRE B-Mods, and uh, hopefully we'll see a lot here at I-35 Speedway. Is that the plan for this year? Uh, yeah, I think we're going to do this and CMS, and then we were going to run some Lakeside, so hopefully that gets going soon. And uh, I want to thank Cheeseworks Videos. Absolutely. He's here and give good uh, coverage, absolutely. Yep, thank you guys. All right, thank you, Shadron. Congratulations. How about a big hand for Shadron Turner, your winner for the USRA B Mods here at I 35 Speedway? We're staying. <laughs> Where is everybody? The par were the party already leave you? No, they never came. <laughs> they never came. The party's at home. Oh, my goodness. Well, let's talk, about, let's talk about the run here tonight that you had. What an amazing run you had. Tell us about your night. How, how crazy was it? Uh, well, it was pretty uneventful, really. Uh, had a good heat race there and got me out front where I needed to be. Um, you know, in the feature, we started outside pole, and that's actually where I wanted to be anyway, and uh, took the green and never looked back. So, Matt, here in the E-Mods, this is a pretty heavy comp uh, field, isn't it, do you think? Or? Well, usually it is. We're kind of, we're lacking a few cars tonight, but I think it'll pick up. I hear there's some guys building stuff that just weren't ready yet. So that'll come around, I'm sure. I saw a lot of cars that looked like had nice paint, paint schemes on them, but by the end of the night, a lot of uh, tire donuts on the side of their cars. Yeah, we were lucky. I don't think there's a dent in this thing, so uh, 
Uh, maybe next weekend we'll christen it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. All right, Matt. Well, congratulations. Uh, anybody you'd like to thank, your sponsors and so forth here? We'll let Cheeseworks take a nice long look at them. So there we go. There, <laughs> okay. And anybody you'd like to go ahead, we'll mention them on cam or mention them here as well for the fans. Uh, yeah, my boss, uh, Joe Slutzbaum. That's who I work for. Uh, Joe Hanson Trucking, uh, John Brown Construction, Eden Intakes, and of course my man Donald Trump. Okay, and is that is that your nickname on the side of your hat there, Mad Dog? Mad Dog, yeah. So you're Mad Dog. Okay, Matt. Well, we'll call you a Mad Dog, Matt. How about that? There you go. Sounds. All right. Good. Well, thank you, thank you, Matt. Congratulations. How about a big hand for Matt Dorsum? Already on the hauler. <laughs> is he holding court down here? There he is. Hey, Ron! <laughs> you crazy man. How you doing? <laughs> All right, we're down here with Ron Hill. Monkey Man, tell us about your run tonight. Wow, what a race that was. Well, we didn't actually win this one. We got we got here because we got lucky. <laughs> lucky dog. But uh, I mean, we're glad we're here. New car. Uh, Owned by Mr. and Mrs. Price. They're going to let me use it for the year. And uh, a little loose. we got some things to work on it, but we're getting there. I mean, it was fast. That's a pretty exciting race. I know we had a pretty ending there. Probably not the one a lot of, at least two drivers wanted to see. But uh, you're right up there in that group and running pretty fast up there in the front. Uh, what things do you think you might be working on to get this thing going and, and win like what, a double digits like you did last year? I sure ain't gonna kiss and tell, but we're gonna work on some stuff. <laughs> but yeah, we got. I mean, we got. We need to get some more bite in the car, and I mean, we're real happy. We we really found this car. This car's been reclipped. We reworked it completely over. We stripped it completely down, and it was about basically about five weeks. And it's been a it's been another drooling bunch of people put in a lot of time. So, and uh, like I said, I proud. I'm just real proud of what the car actually turned out to be. So people you'd like to thank for doing all that work for you and some sponsors as well? All these sponsors belong to Johnny because he was going to drive it. We got the Huffman Farm. We got Perry Pallets. We got Midwest Tire, CarQuest, which John a lot over there. And Signs by Rose. She did all the decals. Of course, my mom and dad, they're, they're always built my cars, anything I drive. So. And Hilltop Trees. I <laughs> don't want to miss those guys, right? And the monkey man. Uh, I think there's a little... Hey, but what did you think about that? You got the big trophy. What do you think about all this? Think it's pretty cool? Is it popping number one? Yeah. All right. Well, there you go. There's the doors. All right. Congratulations. Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you, buddy. All right. It's been too long. Five months. But it's too long. I tell you. All right. Hill. All right. And here he is. Well, we talked before the races here, Jeff, and... Uh, talking about maybe what could happen and last year and, and about what might happen tonight. And you've got some drivers in there. looks like they're ready to go climbing out of the car. So tell us about your run tonight. Man, you were just amazing coming out of turn number two. It looked like you just hit like a rocket coming off of the pad at Cape Kennedy. It just took off and didn't look back. Tell us about your run tonight. Yeah, we had a real good start up on the outside. and I knew if I stayed smooth up there, there was a few holes just to try to get through them straight. And Keep her just come off the corners good and it worked out. Yeah, I had restarts. Is it uh, tell me about what it's like for a driver? <laughs> restarts, you're going like, oh no, not a restart. You ever think that, or what, did you, what were you thinking when you had the restarts? Oh, yeah, I mean, you never never know how close everyone is behind you, but when you have a caution, I mean, they're right there with you, so you know, you got to hit your marks right and just stay, stay smooth. And you had some challenges right up in the back end of you a couple of times on those restarts. Were you feeling the heat a little bit? Oh, yeah, I could hear him back there and felt a, felt a few little kisses, but it's all good. <laughs> well, very cool. Well, tell us uh, about your sponsors and some of the people that got you here to Victory Lane tonight. Uh, we got to thank, thank my dad, first of all, and uh, which we all know. We, dad lost a real good friend, Cletus Murray, over the winter, and a real good friend of mine and a lot of the friends. We got to dedicate this race to him. And, so That's very cool. All right, thank you. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Jeff. It's always great to see you in Victor Lane, see you at the track as well. Always a pleasure to talk to you. All right. Thank you, Jeff. Jeff Dixon, your winner, USRA Stock Car. It's here at I-35. A little further down the line, see what we got here in Victory Lane. Everybody covering up the car. Let's see who we got left here. 
Oh, yeah. This was a heck of a ride, Mr. Key. How about this run? Tell us about your run out there tonight and uh, how you got to Victory Lane. You were on a pretty amazing drive as well. Yeah, it, it went out pretty well. Um, I got a couple times uh, coming out of four, I was close to smacking that wall. And <laughs> I figured John Willard was right on my tail, and I knew I had to stay in it. Um, I didn't know how close they were. I started on the front row and led every lap, and it, it couldn't have gone any better. Yeah, I saw you fantail a couple of times up there with that dirt flying up again. To me, it was a pretty dramatic line when you were running out of the turn number two and coming out of turn number three, especially, or four. So uh, tell us about some of those competitors. Now, you guys had a big field running here tonight. Yeah, it's awesome to see, you know, the field of cars we have here tonight. I been here a couple times last year, and we had, a, you know, roughly 12 cars. And it's nice to, uh, you know, come down here on opening night and, you know, see all the cars here and everybody wanting to put in all their work and everything they did over the winter and come out here and race against each other. Now, Bobby, it's been about five months since the last time you've probably gone on a racetrack. Tell us about uh, all the work and all these people that helped you and some of the sponsors that helped you get the win here tonight. Everybody that helped me is here tonight for the most part. Um, you know, you got Bushfield Barbecue Sauce, Dally Post Saloon, uh, Sellers Family, Schaefer Welding, all those guys helped me out all winter long. Um, if it wasn't for all those guys, I, I had to borrow a truck to get here tonight, so... Here we are. Um, it was 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and we were sitting in the shop, sitting at the car, and we didn't know what to do. We decided to load it up and come down here. Hey, what's the plan for the rest of the season, do you think? you like to run different places, or you might come back here to I-35 a little bit? You know, we, lo we love traveling. It's, it's a blast. Uh, the road trip, the music, the good times, especially nights like this, you know, it all pays off. Um, we run Corning, Corning Weekly. Uh, we'll come down here probably on rain out, rain out nights and you know, give it a run down here. We like running with John and Dave Miller and all those guys. They're all really good people, so we have a blast here. Very cool. You sound like a fun group. I'm going to have to join your caravan and come out and follow you guys around. <laughs> you definitely should. We'll be stopping at the casino in a couple hours, so go ahead and stop there. All right. Well, that sounds pretty cool. All right. Let's hear for Bobby Key, your winner here tonight. Here we go. All right. <laughs> all right. We're down here with Tommy Cordray. Tommy, uh, tonight boy those limited lane models what'd you think of the field and how that worked out for you here this evening of course you're in victory lane so it's got to be pretty good right yeah it worked out good being in victory lane and that first race season and stuff um i was glad to see you know there's i know it's a low car count seven cars and all that but still that's not bad for them just starting to try to bring the class back i hope they'll all know that you know you got to stick with it and some guy you know, i heard there's more cars coming they ain't got them ready and There'll be other people start showing up, and I think it's going to work out. It's just you, it just ain't going to happen in first two or three races. Yeah, tell us about your run tonight. What did you think of the car? Did you feel like you, you had what you wanted, or are you going to work on a little different, or what do you think? No, I put a, changed some things from last year on it. I really liked it. It was, I really liked it. It was, <laughs> and I got to do a little bit. It was a little looser than normal, but it's been a tight car. I've owned this car. This will be the third season. It's always been tight. And tonight she loosened up with what I changed over the winter, so we I'm real happy with it. And well I, I love this track. This is a driving it's a fast track, but you also gotta drive it and I love it. So this is when you're gonna be here weekly, you think, at this point, run for the championship? Yeah, I'm gonna run here every week. All right, well very cool. As long as I don't mess the class up with changing a bunch of rules or something. <laughs> oh, very cool. All right, well, tell us about your sponsors, maybe some of the people that helped you out and get made, got you to Victory Lane here tonight. Uh, sponsors is Tom's Collision Repair, Cordray's Used Cars, Cordray's Center, and then um, I work on it most time. This is my niece, she helps me, and my dad was here watching and that, and that's about it. <laughs> what do you think? All right, what do you think about this one? You're here with the trophy, so obviously you're, uh, you know, pretty cool deal. This car has really been awesome tonight. It's probably the best we've seen. I mean, he's he's happy with it. And we don't always get to see that. So. All right. Well, congratulations to you guys. Looks like you got the hardware, so maybe I'll let you keep that one. How about that, Tommy? What do you think? I like the hardware. That trophy. I never got one with an old car like that on the top. I told her that one's coming to my house. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe the next one. All right. Well, congratulations, Tommy. Good to see you in Victory Lane. and. Hopefully see you a lot more often than the 2019 season. All right, All right thank you. Tommy Cordray, I want a big hand for Tommy. Wow. <laughs> well, here you are all alone. What, what are you doing down here, Nick? Everybody's partying out there. Well, you got to join from the party. How about Nick Benninger? But 
Uh, tell us about your run tonight and what an amazing run you had. Tell us about how that was on the track for you. Yeah, it was good. Uh, uh, I thought we were real good off the get-go and kind of took off to a pretty good little lead. Caution come out. and uh, uh, I just couldn't navigate the holes good enough. Dennis got around me and then uh, had to cowboy up, get on the wheel. That was that was an amazing race. I think I lost my voice at the end of that race between you two. That was just pretty incredible. Uh, you and Elliot, I mean, high side, low side. That was pretty much the game, wasn't it? Yeah, it was good. I'm glad he left me room. Uh, a lot of guys won't leave you room when they're when they're running the bottom like that. So I got to thank him. Uh, it was a good night. Uh, didn't tear up too much, so I'm happy with that. Uh, but as far as the first night on this car this year, I can't ask for anything better. No donuts on the side of the car that you can see, right? Not that I can see. I saw a lot of others with them, so you got it here pretty easy with that and a win as well. All right, tell us about your sponsors and some of the people that got you at Victory Lane here tonight. Yeah, absolutely. Couldn't do it without all of them. Uh, we've got Windustrial, Pennington, uh, Juice Plus, LJ Farms, uh, LLJ Farms, sorry about that, Perry Bar and Grill. Um, we've also got Busy Bee, um, Luke Neiman Fencing, Big Bang Fireworks. Uh, we've just got a whole bunch of Meddy's Woodwater and Spa. Uh, we couldn't do it without all of them. Appreciate all their help. Very, very cool deal. So congratulations, Nick. Good to see you here in Victory Lane as always. And uh, we look to see you now for your season. What are you, what are you thinking for I-35 Speedway? Uh, we're going to bounce around a little bit. Next week we're going to go down to Wheatland. Uh, the week after that we're not for sure. We could easily be back up here. Very cool. Well, the incentive is you know, got a trophy, so you got to make, you know, move out a little collection, make, put a, make another room for the trophies, right? Absolutely. All right. Well, that's the plan. There we go, Nick. Well, great to see you, everybody, and uh, congratulations tonight here at I-35 Speedway. All right. Thank you, Nick. Nick Penninger, I've got a big hand for Nick. All right. Well, that's going to do it here for us tonight. The is here at I-35 Speedway in Winston, Missouri. Appreciate you guys joining us. Thank you again as well for Cheeseworks and all the people here to make this night happen. And, of course, for our sponsor, McCarthy Auto Group. Couldn't do it without you. Check out McCarthyAutoGroup.com or also KCCars.com. Thank you to our cameraman, the Uray, the Candyman Morrison, always doing a great job. This is Mark Brown saying so long. We'll see you next Saturday here at I-35 Speedway for Tompkins Industry Night at the Races here at I-35 Speedway, dirt track racing at its best.